Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers are advised that the following program contains images of people who have died. For Kobe, spending time on the land that belonged to his ancestors is pretty special. That one, that's a tricky one. Well done. It makes me feel special and that it makes me feel like I really deserve to be on this land. And it just makes me go wow every time I look at the ground. Kobe is Palawa. That's the name of Tasmania's traditional owners. And he's taking part in a camp that's designed to help kids connect to their culture. Well, I've been making spears, we've been doing walks, and we went swishing at, fishing at Little Swampport River. Kobe's also been spending time here learning to speak Palawakani. Woolara, Tampara, Woola. We are going hunting. Palawakani is particularly special, not just because it contains words that have been spoken here for tens of thousands of years, but because it's allowing many Aboriginal people here to speak in their own language for the first time. Translated, Palawakani means Tasmanian Aboriginal people speak, and it's actually only been around for about 30 years. It's made up of words from the many Aboriginal languages that existed in Tasmania before European settlers came here. Colonisation was a terrible time for Indigenous people in Tasmania. The Europeans brought diseases with them that killed many people. Others died as they fought the invaders and hundreds were murdered. By the late 1870s, Aboriginal cultures and languages had almost been wiped out in Tasmania. But they weren't lost completely. Aboriginal people like Fanny Cochrane Smith helped to preserve them. 120 years ago, she recorded songs in her own language. There were also written records taken down by Europeans of words they heard Aboriginal people say and memories of Aboriginal people themselves. All of those things eventually helped researchers to create Palawakani. A few little sentences and a few words that were sort of known and a few songs that were sung. Um, and then after that, we started looking in written documents about us. So over the, the years, we probably had 20 or so recorders that recorded everything about the language. Tessa's spent the past 20 years learning Palawakani, and she says the language is still changing as more words are discovered. I wouldn't actually say that they're new words, they're just words that, are, that were recorded um, over, you know, over the whole time that anything was written about us. It is just language that was always there, but language that is being looked at now and being reintroduced back to community. She says that when kids like Kobe speak Palawakani, it encourages other Tasmanian Aboriginal people to speak it too. Ya Palingana, we welcome you to Aboriginal land where ancestors still live. I'm a part of the Palawakani tribe and I think it feels special, especially knowing that there's people around me who know where I'm from. I hope for one day I just can wow people with how strong the language can be.